Okay, guys, what I want to do in this little video is show you um, what the linked vocabulary strategy is and how you'll be using it in your station one station work. Okay, um, all the links vocabulary is, is it's a vocab strategy to help you guys learn your vocab words. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a vocab word, we're going to create little links in a chain that are going to uh, help us remember the definition of the term that you need to know. All the terms that are found in station one are cell organelles, so they're going to be parts of a cell. Um, you'll notice that on my whiteboard, I'll have a vocab term, then we're going to have our linking term, our linking story, our linking picture, and finally our definition. And this is all going to be found right on the worksheet that you guys are given. So it's just pretty much a big picture of the worksheet that you guys have. Um, you guys will be doing this for about six, seven, eight terms at this station, and then you guys will be all set to take your station quiz and you'll be done. Um, the first thing we need to do with our linking vocab uh, strategy is we need to take our vocab word, go ahead and write it in that term box, and we need to take our definition and write it in the definition box so that we know, okay, this is our word, this is the definition that we need to know. After that, you read the term, you read the definition, you're going to come up with a reminding word. So we have vacuole. A vacuole is an organelle that stores food, water, and other materials. We need to pick a word that sounds like vacuole that will help us create a linking sentence that can link to that definition. So when I say the word vacuole, the first word that comes to my mind is vacuum. So I'm going to go ahead and write vacuum in my linking or my reminding word box. So vacuole sounds like vacuum. Now we need to take that word vacuum and somehow link it to our definition so that when we think of vacuoles, we think of vacuums and we can think of that definition that goes along with our organelle. So let's see, vacuole, vacuum, hmm. Uh, well, a vacuole is an organelle that stores food, water, and other materials. And a vacuum is something that kind of sucks up food parts and cleans our house and might clean up water spills and other things that, find, that we find on the floor. So I'm going to make that our linking sentence. A vacuum sucks up food crumbs and other materials. So I now have my term. I have my reminding word. When I think of vacuum, I think of vacuum. I think, oh, a vacuum sucks up food crumbs and other materials, and that relates right to my definition. We're storing food and other materials if we are a vacuole. Now, in this box, all you're doing is you're creating a simple picture. Uh, it's going to be a reminding picture that just helps us remind our brains of what our linking sentence is. So I'm going to draw a little vacuum. It's going to be sucking up food crumbs and other materials. And then hopefully, when it comes time for your test, quiz, assessment, you think back to your links vocabulary terms. So you think, OK, we have a vacuole. Well, vacuole, OK, it sounds like vacuum. What does a vacuum do? Oh, a vacuum sucks up crumbs and other materials. Oh, I know what a vacuole does. It stores food, water, and other materials. And you can think of that little goofy picture that you drew. You're going to be doing one of these links vocabulary terms uh, cards for each one of the definitions found at this station. OK? If you have any questions, feel free to raise your hand and I'll come around and help you. Feel free to watch this video as many times as you'd like until you get the links vocabulary strategy down.